What up, Spirits fam? It is your emo daddies, Riley. And Sean. We are back with another React. Uh, we're doing another Architect song today. Mm -hmm. I'm stoked. They just dropped this new album, and I have not been able to listen to it yet, and it's killing me. I love the singles we've heard so far. Same here. Uh, today we're doing Impermanence. It's featuring Winston McCall, who I believe is the singer of Parkway Drive. Oh, okay. Um, and so this will be sweet. I love this artwork a lot. Yeah, yeah, that is really sick. Yeah, um, before we dive into that, we play in an emo band called Spirits based out of Portland, Oregon, and we have a five song EP called Novellas. It would mean a lot to us if you checked out our mu our original music. Yep. Uh, you can find it on this platform, any streaming platform you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's also a link in the description to our merch store, so if you like what we do and you want to help support the channel, uh, check that out. That'll take you to our merch store. You can get physical copies of the CD, t-shirts, stickers, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. We would greatly appreciate it. Shout out to our sponsors, Ghost Killer Entertainment and Solar Guitars. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tap that bell. Ding, ding, ding. That way you know when we upload new content for you. Absolutely. Let's do it. Impermanence. I love the new direction so far from what we've heard. Yeah, totally. It's really like mature sounding. The scream right there kind of reminds me of Chino from uh, Oh, yeah, totally. Chino. Yeah, white, white Pony era. Really cool chord structure there. You know, it's funny. A lot of people are giving him shit for not doing the super techy stuff. Mm -hmm. Simple shit slaps harder anyways. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you do it well. Got a great scream on him. Fuck yeah, he does, dude. Sam Carter's one of the best vocal vocalists in the whole scene. That kind of sounds like Ollie a little bit. Yeah, I can hear that. Cool little time signature change on that. Well, feel change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a stellar clean vocal. Like that little ghost note that they're throwing in there. Mm -hmm. Sick. Great fucking guitar tone too. Haven't heard Winston McCall yet. Yeah, that's a great feel change right yeah. there. You know what I love about this too? They're doing something different. Yeah. Everyone expected more of that classic architect shit. Yeah. I love that they switched it up. They're like, fuck you, we're doing our own thing. Yeah, but it's not cheesy either. Yeah. There he is. That was sick. There you go, dude. Simple fucking slacks. I like this. That breakdown was just dry, too. Mm -hmm. They're doing a lot of cool panning stuff, too. Yeah. Great chorus. Great line right there. Mm -hmm. I love 
love that Destiny chord right there. Yeah. Again. Like how the drums followed that again and again. And yeah, again. totally. Yeah. Dude, that was sick. More fucking fire from Architects. Yeah, man, they're slapping us all over the place. I love it, man. Um, you know, a lot of people are talking down on this, but I feel like a lot of that's that gatekeeper mentality. You know, people have a vision yeah, of, of yeah. what bands should do because they've they've done something that's meant something to that person. Yep. And then when they don't connect to it on that level, they, they automatically shit talk it. And I think that's just ridiculous, you know? And, and we're honest about our, our opinions on things. There's been bands on here that we both absolutely love and we didn't have that same feel um, about the changes that they were making. We're definitely honest when we hear something that sounds too different than what they're doing or they didn't execute it properly. Uh, that's not the case with Architects. These guys are, are doing something that they want to do, but they're also keeping it, they're blending those styles in very well. Yeah, you know, for me, um, hearing this, all this new stuff, it's it sounds genuine to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? This doesn't sound like they sat down and went, mm, you know, uh, new metal's really coming back. Let's let's write a corn ripoff album. Right. Like a lot of bands that I won't name yeah. do. Yeah. And you can tell, you can see right through it, and it just it's shit. But this feels like a natural progression for them. You know, the thing about bands, like you don't want to play the same shit over and over again. As as much as you may love it, you don't want to keep writing the same thing over and over again. It's boring. Right. You know, so I love that they're trying new things here. I'm sure that they knew they were going to get some backlash for it, and right. they did it anyways because that's what felt right to them. And I will always back a band doing that. Well, and a lot of the times, you know, at least in this time in music, Bands are damned if they do and damned if they don't. You know, a band can come back even from a hiatus, and if they stick to that original sound, they get called, you know, washed up, they don't have any new ideas, yeah, 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 like yeah. that. And then on the other side of the coin, if they come out with something completely new and revolutionary for their band, you know, they're, they're told that they're trying too hard or they're selling out. So, I mean, th that's the really difficult part about the music industry is being able to find that happy medium between what's pleasing yourself as an artist and pleasing other people as an artist. Totally. And I think that these guys are really good at doing that. You know, clearly, um, you know, they might not be done with all the techie shit that they used to do back in the day, but at the end of the day, we know that they can do it. We know they have the capability to do, to do that. So there's yeah. clearly a reason why they're not doing that at this point in time. Yeah, and there are a bunch of fucking albums with that type of shit. Yeah. I like hearing a different blend, and I think I talked about this on the last video, I'd love to see them live now that this dropped and see how interesting their set is mm -hmm. live because you're going to get breaks like this, you know, in the middle of like Gone with the Wind and Hereafter. Right. You throw something like this in there and it really lets it like it helps those other songs stand out even more. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it, it just gives you more of a variety as an artist. I can imagine this being a super fucking so fun song to play. Exactly. Because you just get to rock out the whole time. Yeah. And it's great to hear Sam Carter with some true clean vocals. Haven't really heard that up until now. You know, it's always been super raspy and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's great to hear his voice kind of cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed this. Um, you know, we've been getting a lot of requests for these guys and their new albums, so we're definitely chipping away through the whole album. Thank you guys for requesting that. If you want to check out our music, we got a five-song EP out called Novellas. You can find it on any of the major steamy, streamy platforms. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to kick it old school, head on into the description. There is a link to our merch store. You can pick up physical copies. They do double as a coaster if you don't like the way our band sounds. So that's True. enough on that. We also have shirts. Uh, we also have car decals that make your car sound sadder. So yep. uh, definitely check those out. Uh, if you're ever going through some rough issues in your life and you don't have a support group, head on over to Facebook. There's a group called The Spirit World. One of our Spirits fam, Willow, created it. Shout out, Willow. Really just a bunch of great people from all over the world that have come together to lift each other up through really troubling times. Mm -hmm. Couple things that it's not a good place for, Emo Daddy, let them know, Riley. Uh, it's not a good place to spam. Uh, it's not a hookup site. Download Tinder or any of the other places you can go to do that. Yeah. Tack this group tackles some really serious issues. We're not gonna tolerate people just joining the slide in DMs. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Um, and it's also not a place where we're ever going to tolerate bullying or trolling for the same reason. Um, you know, people are sharing some really personal stuff in this group and, you know, you can be an asshole anywhere else. 
So we're just not gonna put up with it there. Yeah, make sure you answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, you don't get into the group. That's just how it is. Yep. We just released our cover of Coheed and Cambria Wake Up. Be sure and check that out. We dropped a little, uh, little video for it here on the YouTube channel. Check it out, let us know what you think of that. We have a bunch of other covers available on a playlist as well on the YouTube yep. channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and tap that bell. Ding, ding, ding. That way you know when we upload the new content, baby. Yeah, buddy. Uh, and as always, welcome to the Hit Wild! Holler. <laughs>